We have different ways to celebrate Christmas in my country, but the most typical one is on the Christmas Eve, on 24th of December, people usually go to church, and on Christmas Day, uh, you spend the whole day with your family, and then at, the, at night, that's when people exchange gifts, like with, between themselves and family and friends. That's how they spend it all together. We celebrate Christmas, but we are not Christian, and uh, almost Japanese people don't believe uh, religion, but we are celebrate uh, Christmas. We are going to grandfather or grandmother house, and we are going to temple or uh, I don't know the name, but the building about uh, religion. So and uh, we are eat uh, Japanese traditional food, and uh, we play uh, like. Japan traditional sports. We are celebrating it from uh, the morning. Uh, we are not eating meat all day. Uh, and we have, of course, traditional dinner with uh, many traditional dishes like uh, banitsa, which is salty pie with uh, our traditional cheese. Uh, yeah, all the family is uh, coming to, to the dinner. And the next, the next day, uh, there are uh, Christmas gifts. Christmas presents and the, maybe that's the most uh, exciting part. Christmas is celebrated quite the same as in your country. We, um, we celebrate it together with our families, sit together on the table, uh, communicate with each other, exchange our wishes and we have a lot of dishes and we eat, eat and eat. A lot. Well, on the 25th majority of Ghanaians actually go to church because it's like Christ's birth and all that but after that we get masquerades from all over the community with the music, drums and everything going around um, trying to scare kids it's actually scary though well on the 26th we try and box some um, gifts to people and we party all night long Usually in my country, really different with uh, Western countries. Uh, in Western country, people usually uh, go back home for enjoy their uh, Christmas atmosphere. But in Vietnam, very different. We going outside and we are um, uh, enjoy the outside atmosphere, hang out with our friends and go to the churches. We celebrate uh, Christmas on the 7th of January and uh, Catholics uh, celebrate it on the 25th of January. Christmas it's usually it's a family uh, family day. In Vietnam there are two calendars and uh, on the one calendar is follow the sun and the uh, second one is that uh, depends on the moon. So in Vietnam, we also really like Chinese culture. What you like the most? Alcohol. <laughs> yes, for sure. We gather families and uh, first of all between us and then we go and have some party together with in friends. With relatives or something like that. Yes. We are eating pierogi. <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, me. Me. Most important one is also uh, who will come first in your house. Yeah. It is very important because, uh, it's like, like a shepherd. Uh, yeah, shepherd. like like uh, person who will come. Like, uh, is it good or not? Uh, this year will be uh, for this family like this person. <laughs> it's our tradition, so it's like pierogi. We love pierogi. Everyone loves pierogi. There is a lot of uh, foods, a lot of um, things to eat, and so on. So uh, everyone is uh, honestly very tired after two or three days. This is one of the most beautiful holidays in Poland, and uh, for me it is very, very important and relevant because I may spend that time with family. Could you tell us about New Year? How you celebrating in your country? That's a fact that we don't celebrate. Celebrate Christmas as it is in Poland and any Christian cities, uh, countries. But in we celebrate New Year as a typical one in 31st of December, and that's that and 1st of January, of course, because hangover. It's feeling that's soul, that spirit that we can feel when the year changes. Then you are like welcoming New Year with your new new ambitions, new goals. That makes you power. I think so. 
где собираются все друзья, все близкие люди и, и готовятся вообще к этому празднику очень-очень тщательно. Продумывают, начиная от одежды, заканчивая тем, где и как, что мы будем делать. Я вот, например, уже знаю, где буду праздновать Новый год уже где-то месяц. Я очень тщательно подхожу к этому вопросу, потому что очень люблю этот праздник. Анастасия, как ты празднуешь свой Новый год? В этом году я буду праздновать со своими родителями. До этого я всегда праздновала со своими друзьями. Мы заранее находим место, где мы будем праздновать, либо мы куда-то едем, либо мы там у кого-то дома, чаще всего мы там договариваемся, заранее готовим какие-то блюда разные. Я решила в этом году праздновать семье, потому что я очень сильно за ними скучаю, так как я уехала сюда учиться, и семья это, наверное, самое главное сейчас для меня, и я им очень благодарна за то, что они делают для меня, и я уже готовлю им подарки. Actually, Azerbaijanians just between us, we like to give us each other presents. That's our traditions as actually hospitality. Even if it's not New Year, even just you are visiting your friend, you have to. You have to. Really, it will be beautiful BMW X5. Hmm. <laughs> money, money. I would like to have pet. Maybe like little dog. That's pretty big for uh, to stand under Christmas tree. But it will be nice. Me? Camera. Please. Nikon. Please. <laughs> If you want a car, I want to go back home, really, for a month. It will be great. more we are growing, growing up, uh, we don't want to get presents, but just to be with the family. This is uh, the best present you can get.